This is a video requested by a subscriber who was asking me to compare the C8 Plus with the W5050 SQ3 to the Convoy Z1 with the same LED to see how they both perform. And I did review this one a while back, the C8 Plus. I can't actually remember what the output was, how the how it performs. So make sure you hang around to the end of the video because I'm actually going to go through some beam shots. Convoy Z1 and the Convoy C8, both with the W5050 SQ3. And side by side, the Z1 to the left and the C8 Plus to the right. And as you can see, the Z1 has a really tight hotspot and sharp edges around the circle of the hotspot. Okay, now if I'm comparing them side by side just on this tree here, I think the C8 Plus just manages to outthrow it. Okay, now these are both 6500K. Let's have a look at that back bush tree, sorry, there. Yeah, it does look like the C8 Plus out throws it slightly and also has tons of usable flood as well. Just seeing if after some time what the step down's like, but yeah definitely think that the C8 Plus is brighter. It is brighter for sure in terms of long distance performance anyway. And that was something to be expected. I mean, given the fact that this light is produced basically just for a specialized long distance throw. Okay. Turn it off. I'll show you what the Z1 looks like with it unscrewed in completely. So there we go. That round beam. And I can just screw the beam in a little bit, the head in more. And as you can see, sort of just focus the beam more. So you can get like more of a floody beam, but still focused out in the back with the head half screwed in and still looks good. No artifacts. Not in all this shrub anyway, very difficult to see even if there are any artifacts. But uh, all the way, zoomed all the way in, you can see it's just, yeah. I mean, if we just compare them side by side, there's no, yeah, definitely that C8 Plus has better long distance performance. Okay. Even now, after both of these have started to step down a bit you know the C8 plus is holding a bit better so of course there is a bit of a trade-off when you have lights that these zoomy lights the heat sinking isn't going to be as good as a full body it doesn't move around, the head doesn't move around. I think just with the more contact that the LED has, the rest of the body, it's able to actually dif dissipate the heat better. So you can see the C8 is just not stepping down as much. Really difficult to kind of tell when I first started it, but yeah. So if you don't mind the step down, and of course you get a beam that is a lot more practical, especially if you want a flood sort of beam. And here is the 35% mode on the C8 Plus, and the 35% mode is, oh, is quite similar, but I think still a little bit brighter than the Z1 after the Z1 steps down. Turn off the Z1, turn it back on again. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you just, you can't beat that, you can't beat that C8 Plus, that trusty C8 Plus. 
Wow. So just for fun, I'm going to throw in the S8 here with the same LED, W5050 SQ3. Okay, so it's got a larger hotspot, obviously. It's still a large round beam out the back, but nowhere near as throwy as the other two.